So when I left y'all, we were corona free. So this is what happens when I leave y'all for a long period of time. Just kidding. I'm back. Finally. My laptop is repaired. I can finally start editing videos. I'm sorry if I'm looking a little frumpy today, but uh, I just got home from work. So I was like, I ain't. I ain't dressing up today. No, no. By the way, I'm going to be uploading new videos on Saturday. A lot of you have been sending me requests through YouTube, through Instagram, through Twitter. Heard. Going to upload. It's going to be a surprise though. Some people will be disappointed, but hey, doing the best I can just because I have a backlog now and it's... I'm getting, I'm getting there. Thank you guys for keep recommending stuff to me. Really, really stoked to start. Uh, editing and uploading again because I missed you guys and uh, ever since this virus started really on a personal note, it's really been affecting my OCD just because with my job like I don't know if it's the same thing in all y'all states but apparently where I work I'm essential somebody lying we ain't essential but we still open so it's been like a kind of show up for work day and figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be. Thank you to all the people who are like nurses, doctors who are braving this. Um, but right now we have a stay at home order and my ass is still at work. So I don't know what is happening in my state. Let me know down in the comments section. Is it the same for you? Are you essential, but you're not essential? You know what I'm saying? Or is that just me? I don't know. But um, it's been kind of affecting my OCD just because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And that is like, that is the worst feeling. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. By the way, life update. Uh, I'm still working at the same job. Mostly because I have been hired somewhere else. What ended up happening was my interview was scheduled. And because of the coronavirus, I can't take my test for the job that I applied for. So I don't even know if I got the job at all. I, I can't make this stuff up. Like once I actually start looking for a job, actually got a call back for it. My interview is scheduled, coronavirus happens. I'm just saying, it's like timing is just. <clears throat> so yeah, and then my laptop broke. Really? Really? Real quick, probably a lot of you have tuned off this video, but for those who have stayed, I am giving a book away. It's called Being Strong. Um, somebody who comes into the place I work actually wrote the book. And she's from my state, and she gave me a copy of it, and she was like, here, read it first, tell me what you think. So now I'm kind of passing it on to you guys. and. How you guys can win this is by telling me something interesting that you're doing during this lockdown. I don't know if you guys have lockdowns. We have a stay at home order, but what are you guys doing? I'm watching dancing videos. I'm watching uh, the quarantine people, Jesse McCartney. Oh, he has a beautiful soul. Anybody? No? Okay. And uh, I'm watch also watching Miley Cyrus, Bright Minded. Um, I'm, I'm gonna include the links down below so you guys can watch what I'm watching because like they just take me right out of whatever I am uh, feeling and just put me in a better mood. I'm also reading but like if y'all have looked back there Fifty Shades of Grey. Ugh, I'm, I'm still in February. I need to get over it. Anyway, but I'm going to be giving this book to the most creative person who tells me what they're doing down below. And you don't have to impress me. I'm going to ask somebody else to pick your comments. So be creative winner at the end of this month. So hopefully we have some comments underneath there. If you don't feel comfortable commenting underneath my YouTube video, uh, always comment on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, 
any way you can get a hold of me. I'm here. But one lucky person will be getting this book. It's roughly... If anybody wants to know the page number, because it's 262 pages. I read this on a weekend. I think, I think, I think you're capable of doing it. Going further with this channel, I want to start doing sweet stays with you. I really want to start giving you guys either books. I know you guys have been commenting on my book wall. Um, music. Hopefully I can send you like a digital download and you guys can get free music. Um, I'll pay for it of course, but I just wanted to give you guys something, um, maybe every other month just to make sure that, hey, I appreciate you. You have subscribed to my channel and, um, you guys keep coming back, which surprises the hell out of me. So, uh, thank you. Thank from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, we are almost to a year on this channel and I'm almost to 500 subscribers. 500. I never thought, little old me. Today, and we are going to be reviewing Julia Michaels' Inner Monologue Part 2. Whatever get to this point, and like, here we are. So, we're still learning, we're still going, and we're still cruising along. So, thank you guys for jumping on this ride with me. I am so excited to listen to more music. You have no idea. Um, Also, another thing I've been ch checking out is Patreon. I kind of want to put more videos on there as well. I haven't started it yet. It's just in the process of doing it. I kind of want to do my Charlie XEX series on there. I kind of want to do Lana Del Rey. A lot of you have been requesting Lana Del Rey. And um, I've been hearing a lot of good things. So uh, just any other artists that have multiple albums, I kind of want to do a whole series on them. And also... I kind of want to segment for people who are up and coming. Mo Some of you, when I started, requested music off SoundCloud. And I really want to give them a, sh a platform to really showcase what they can do. I feel like there's a lot of artists, Kim Petras, who deserve to be on radio. And they don't get radio. And I'm like... Somebody lying to me. Somebody lying to me. I'm just saying. So hopefully in the future I can give you guys, if you guys create music, if you guys are inventive, I can give you guys a platform to really showcase what you guys can do. And hopefully it's a, it's a good place. Hopefully I don't lose subscribers, but I hope that you guys keep coming back and actually enjoying my videos. And that, I think that was one of the biggest fears of starting this YouTube channel was nobody was going to come back and watch this. I'm a life of a party. Let's just be honest here. Like, yes. Okay. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And uh, just keep yourself safe. I will see you guys later. Bye.